Hey there, my name is Gary Sims and this is Gary Explains. What I have here is the Microsoft Surface Pro X, which of course is the Surface laptop based on Microsoft's SQ1 processor, which is itself based on the Snapdragon 8CX. So we're dealing with Windows on ARM. Now I just got this today, so I want to do an unboxing video and an initial boot up. But also I want to make a series of videos about Windows on ARM, looking at things like an actual review of this device itself, how you develop software for Windows on ARM, compatibility, performance, so on and so on. So if you've got any questions that you would like answered about this device and Windows on ARM, please tell me in the comments below, because I will try to deal with those in the videos. But first, as I said, the unboxing. So if you want to find out more, please let me explain. Okay, so I actually received uh, two packages today. One is the main Microsoft Surface Pro X, and the other is the keyboard for the Surface Pro X because you can use this uh, supposedly as a tablet, and we'll look at that in the review, but I also wanted a keyboard because I thought I wanted to, be able to use this as a proper productivity machine. Now it's even still got the plastic on here, so hopefully I can get this, get something here to cut. There we go. Let's get that initial bit off plastic wrapping off. Okay, so we've got that off and then here we go. Let us pull the lid off this and see what it looks like. Come on, here we go, there we go. Okay, so here is the device itself. Okay, it's looking pretty nice. Okay, we'll just put that to one side for a moment, see what else we've got here in the box. That looks like some uh, instructions, health and safety and probably everything like that. And what's this? It feels pretty heavy. This must be the power. So we have the power cord. Okay, the power brick uh, and the cable there. Okay, so that seems pretty simple. I got this uh, in the USA, so you can see I've got a USA plug there, but we can sort that out, that's not a problem. Okay, that seems to be it for this box. Okay, and now let's do the same here with the Surface uh, Pro X keyboard. So the same again. There we go. Cut away the plastic. This one. Oh, okay, that's fairly, fairly simple. And yep, just like other Surface, um, uh, devices and even keyboards for other things like, you know, kind of like the iPads and things, just a simple keyboard. Okay, and this will have some connectors on it like that. So we'll connect that up later and see how that works. Okay, let's look at the actual device itself here. Take it out of this uh, packaging that we have here. Okay, well that looks very, very nice. Here we have this kickstand. Let's see how, there we go. Okay, so there you go, you can use it like that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna boot that up and see what it looks like. Okay, enough intro, let's dig in. Okay, so here it is after all the initial setup, answering questions about the privacy, and of course, share, you know, device location sharing, and of course, entering in my uh, uh, account, Microsoft account. Here I am all booted up, and of course, it looks just like Windows. I've also got the keyboard attached here. It has a mouse pad, so of course, you can move the mouse around. You can go down to the start menu and start playing with all that stuff. And of course, uh, you know, you've got the Edge web browser, which is a native web browser. And of course, it's touchscreen as well, so everything works here on the touchscreen. Uh, you can use the mouse or the touch screen and of course that works for even controls like that for minimizing the windows. So that's it, a, a boot up and the initial impression is very light, very thin uh, and looks uh, like a Windows uh, laptop. But I have to play with it now and uh, for several days and really start to understand how it all works. So as I said, any questions, any questions, just leave them in the comments below to this video. Other than that, my name's Gary Sims. This is uh, Gary Explains. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And uh, there's a subscribe button. Look, And I suppose that's it. I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next one.